everybody, it's Dandruff with the News Cartridge for Friday, August 4th, 2017. Welcome to the end of the week, and up until now, there has been plenty of news, but not so much today. But the show must go on, and we start with Path of Exile's next expansion called The Fall of Oriath, launching today along with the version 3.0 update. Coming next week is the expansion to Hearthstone called Knights of the Frozen Throne. It goes live on August 10th. Coming to For Honor later this month is Season 3, which will introduce two new combatants, the Highlander and the Gladiator. Let me know if you're still playing For Honor in the comment section down below. A new patch has come to PUBG, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, that fixes the lag that appeared after yesterday's patch. Because I was done with yesterday's show so early, I decided to play a few games, and it was almost unplayable. There was what seemed like a half a second delay when opening any door, and this made shooting extremely difficult. I'm gonna play it more over the weekend to see if this is truly fixed. Getting a plethora of patches is The Long Dark, which received two yesterday and then one more today. Patch notes for these, as well as other games, can be found through the links in the description down below, along with links for sources for all of today's stories. Hollow Knight has gotten some DLC out today, which is the first of three and absolutely free. I promise that I wasn't trying to rhyme that time. Though it hasn't been announced just yet, it looks as though Xbox One gamers are going to get a Spotify app, meaning you'll have access to thousands of songs while you play games. In mod news, a new one has come to The Witcher 3 called The Devil's Pit, which adds a whole new explorable area, new NPCs, 20 new items, and of course, new quests. This is the mod for those of you who weren't happy with the 200 hours of play in the base game. Up next, we have some information about the resolution that Conan Exiles runs at on Xbox One, being 900p, but the UI will be rendered at 1080. This will make it so things don't look so sloppy while still providing the highest resolution possible. The PS4 resolution has yet to be announced. And that brings us to our final topic this week, which is the reveal of AMD RX Vega, their newest graphics cards with an all-new architecture built from the ground up. Three different iterations of the cards will be available when it fully releases on August 14th. The RX Vega 64, the RX Vega 64 Liquid, and the RX Vega 56. All three of them will feature 8GB of HBM2 or high bandwidth memory. The obvious difference between the two 64 cards is one is liquid cooled, but that one also has a higher base clock speed at 1406 MHz, and the air cooled one has a clock speed of 1247. Both have 64 compute units. The RX Vega 56 will feature less stream processors, less compute units at 56, but comes at a lower price at 399 US dollars, which is extremely competitive to the GTX 1070, in my opinion. The air cooled RX Vega 64 will retail for 499 US dollars and the liquid retails for 599. No word on pricing outside of the US just yet. At some point in the future, the RX Vega Nano will come onto the market, which is a smaller version of the same card. This is a great thing for gamers because AMD is competing again with high end products, though it looks as though they have not created a card that will beat the 1080 Ti or the Titan XPP, at least in gaming performance. In raw compute performance, it smashes anything Nvidia has, which makes it very appealing to cryptocurrency miners, which is bad for gamers because it will lower supply and drive up price. And with the low yields of HBM1, seeing these cards in gaming rigs might be few and far between. Are you thinking of upgrading the AMD RX Vega? Let me know in the comment section down below. Good luck everyone on getting a card, and this episode was dedicated to City Lion. Once again, it's time for Monday's game releases, because I'm off for the next two days, because I'm going to go look for frying pans in Russia. For PC, Darts VR, Asteroids Millennium, Super Ultra Monster Smash, Edges, Edges 2, Sketchy, Sketchy 2, Spears and Spades, Solitaire Ultra, Dark Empire, Behind the Door, Shark Dating Simulator XL, Hearing, Twin Brothers, No Lights, So Mad, Gun Running War Dogs, Animal Crush, Deadly Rescue, Regenesis Arcade, Lawbreakers, Flux 8, Gravity Tunnel VR, 36 Fragments of Midnight, Monsteria, Evil Genome, Nightmare in the Lighthouse, and Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice. Thank you very much everybody, this has been News Cartridge, I am Dandruff, I will see you on Monday. And what do hamsters and cigarettes have in common? Well, both are completely harmless until you put one in your mouth and light it on fire. Sorry for the short show, everyone. I, um, j I tried to look for as much things that I could. Everything today on the sources that I go to were all, like, editorials, all opinion pieces, all, like, kind of, you know, knick-knacky, um, uh, knick-knack articles. I think that's a good way of putting them. Nothing with any real substance. I, I had to go back and go, uh, I had to go back through and look for things with real substance behind them. Um, I, you know, I, I gotta make a show every day. Everybody's expecting a show. Uh, unless I'm sick or something, then, hey, go make, go make me show, stupid, you know? <laughs> Don't, no, I'm not stupid. Um, 
Yeah, uh, so I did end up playing some games of PUBG yesterday, and it was just, it was rough. It was really, really rough. I even saw Rags had uh, said that he can't recommend it to people because of how laggy it is. And it is an early access game. They... I weren't sure they. I was pretty sure they weren't just gonna leave it like that. I haven't tested it since I played yesterday, so I'm gonna play it more tonight. See what what goes on. Play over the weekend, obviously, and I'll get back. To, I'll get you my uh, opinion on it on Monday. But uh, yeah, I'm still having fun with the game. Um, what else is out lately? Oh, Sonic Mania is coming out in, in two weeks. That one's gonna be a lot of fun to pick up. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. I think it's only gonna be like fifteen dollars too, so that should be really easily affordable. I should go check and see if it's on Keymailer. Hmm, yeah, should. Hmm, get it for free. Hmm, yes. Hmm, quiet. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, let's see. What else is there today? Uh, show got done really quickly. I, I, I just busted through a lot of them. I was just like, I got, I got my little clicker, clicker mouse. Everybody knows the clicker mouse. So it's just take, click, take, click, take, click. And the camera's about to shut down. So thank you everybody for being here. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Social media links are over here. Click over here to subscribe to my channel. Click over here to watch yesterday's episode where we talked about PUBG getting its big update, which caused the lag that I talked about earlier. Blah, blah, blah. Bye everybody. Go play some games. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye.